It is Thursday's market update and Tori Utley is having a open house on yes. the coldest day of the year. Yes. <laughs> and we are gonna learn about her new startup uh, that she has in the Rochester area. Where are we at? Yeah, so we are at Doc's Recovery House. This is our men's housing program. Um, Doc's Recovery House is a new nonprofit organization that helps uh, men uh, get into treatment. So we house individuals who've been placed on a waiting list for residential treatment or after they get out of treatment and are waiting to get into a long-term sober living facility. Uh, we also have a community center out in Byron and that will be where we do some day programming and uh, here's where we'll have about 14 people living. So let's go check it out yeah. and see the open house. So this is our men's house. Um, we are going to have capacity for uh, 14 men right away, and then we're going to probably increase that to 16. Um, but in here, this is our staff office. So this is where uh, we'll have 24-7 staffing, and um, all those staff will just help individuals kind of on their on their own recovery, help them with uh, setting some goals. And again, our our primary objective is to get. Um, the men in our program into treatment or into a long-term sober living facility. So we're just trying to make the biggest impact that we can in the few days or few weeks that we have with the people who come and stay here. How many staff will you have? Uh, well, so we'll have 24-7 staff. So we just actually hired on seven. So we're a team of 10 and then we've got a board of directors uh, right now of six. Wow. So we've got some great people that are joining our team and we're just really excited to have them. So awesome. yeah. So this is our dining room. Um, the house is split up into two sides. So this is where the guys in our program will share a meal. We'll have, um, we'll serve them breakfast, lunch, and dinner, share a meal together every day. Uh, we'll do some of the kitchen stuff in the kitchen. <laughs> um, this is our other side. Uh, here we're gonna have some groups. This is gonna be another common space where um, staff and the residents here can play games, watch TV. We'll do some peer recovery groups here. Um, just really a place to enjoy some community. So um, every room at Doc's house has a dresser, a bed, a desk. Um, we've talked a lot about designing Doc's house with dignity so that all of the residents that come here to stay with us, again, whether they're with us for a couple days or for a couple weeks, that they just feel really welcome here, um, that choosing recovery and choosing to go to treatment is really the right decision and just want to make people feel as comfortable as possible. So that is kind of the, the intention that we went into the design of all of our rooms and just the kind of the overall feel that we want the house to have here. And how are people finding you? Is it through referral or is Yeah, through it... referrals and um, just individually kind of um, advocating for themselves needing to get into treatment. So one thing that we're going to do is help provide that advocacy. The um, Unfortunately, the process of getting into treatment isn't always easy. It can be really challenging. And so if somebody comes to us and has not already secured a spot on a waiting list for treatment, we'll help initiate that process. And that means um, doing a chemical use evaluation and then coordinating their care. So in um, kind of the best case scenario, somebody might sitting be sitting in our office and we'll call a treatment facility and they'll have an opening that day, in which case we would drive them directly there. So, and if not, um, then if we have availability here, we'd bring them in and kind of get that process started just through peer-based support. So really just affirming um, through, through stories of lived recovery that this is a really good decision and you know, you've got this and we just wanna keep that motivation going until that bed is available. Hmm. That's yeah. amazing. So another question I'd have is, as far as funding, mm -hmm. if you are someone coming in or if it's just the Doc's house in general, like is there people that are helping sponsor individuals or how does that work? Yes, so uh, we've had support from generous donors who have helped get us off the ground. There's some reform happening in the state of Minnesota to uh, create more grants and billable services for substance use disorder. So we're funded through a mix um, of state dollars, state grants, um, and then from generous support from donors. So if somebody comes here and um, isn't able to be funded through a you know, program through the state or isn't able to fund their stay, we do have donors who have stepped up uh, to provide scholarship funds every night for these individuals. So nice. we uh, really, however somebody can get here, we want them to get here. The community stepping up to make this. They are, and, and we're incredibly, incredibly grateful. Um, we've talked extensively that Doxus has been a labor of love for the last four years. Um, no one person created it on their own, and it's, you know, without support from our community members, from donors, that we wouldn't be here today. So more than anything today, we're feeling really grateful. Keep going. Yeah. Total of three levels in this place? Uh, so, well, main level, second floor, third floor, and okay. then on two sides. So, 
sometimes if you don't, uh, if you're not paying attention, you're like, wait, which what floor yeah. am I on? <laughs> which floor what side? <laughs> Yeah, so um, everybody who checks in, um, we'll be giving them some toiletries, um, fresh linens really are going to help, you know, help them get what they need if they don't already have it. And again, just want them to walk into their room and feel really welcome. Nice. Very comfortable. Is there parking on site for those people that come and stay here? Yes. Yep. There will be parking on site uh, for the guys in our program who do have vehicles, depending on which phase they're in. They may or may not need that with where they're going to be going to treatment, but if they have a vehicle, we have a place to keep it. Can you share about how this story came to be and about the additional home that you have? Yeah, yeah. So the idea came about four years ago. Uh, my dad, who's a person in long-term recovery, and I um, were helping different people um, kind of in just in our own lives and had really noticed that after somebody wanted to get help and go to treatment, um, it wasn't always immediate that they were actually able to get there. And um, as my dad would describe it, that window of opportunity, that moment of clarity doesn't always last you know, for very long. And so uh, at the time we had come across this house in Oxbow Park in Byron, Minnesota. Um, it was the former home of Dr. David Donald, a world-renowned cardiologist um, who left his estate to our community in hopes that it would make uh, someone's life better. And so um, for the past four years, we've been working to, to secure a lease with that facility. That came through this year, kind of about the same time that we located this housing campus. And so Doc's House out in Byron is where all of our day programs will be happening. And that's where we'll do some community groups, some service and volunteerism activities, and we'll do some fun activities like uh, hiking, fishing, uh, really when we talk about Doc's House, from what, whether it's the housing campus or in Byron, we just want a day at Doc's House to give you a glimpse of what a life in recovery can feel like. So kind of through that little idea of four years ago, it's, it's definitely snowballed into what it is today through the help of our community and board. Uh, so it definitely didn't look like this right when we first started, but uh, we've just been persevering the last four years to get it off the ground. and that, that time is here, so. Wow, mm -hmm. well it's up and running now, and if people wanna learn more, where can they go to find out more? So you can look for us on Facebook, you can search Docs Recovery House or docsrecoveryhouse.org. Thank you. Thank you.